Oh, hello, and welcome to the Trucking Life. I said I didn't know if I get a video out this week, but it's a good time to get a trucking video out at least. I just picked up this load of pressure tanks here. And it's going to southeast Oklahoma. Currently in Woodward. And it's going way down there to Idabel. So, a bit of a drive today. See if I make it in one shot or my voice does. But let's get going. I can see our very first issue is going to be up here. I have more than 90 degree turn. I was coming here to get this trailer. Well, today I have a few things in mind to talk about. I'm recording this on get ready to turn right. Monday evening, the 10th. And I was scheduled for surgery tomorrow. Okay, I can't see right up here. Challenge down at least. So, as I say on my book and my blog, and just in general, that when you're living the quad life, definitely unexpected times abound. And in the past few days, I have the uh, Definitely live, lived up to that same. So, as I said, this is Monday evening, and for the last oh, four or five days, I've known that I was going to have surgery tomorrow, Tuesday morning. But, I got a call about oh, 2.30 this afternoon that the testing from last week's pre-op stuff showed that I have another bladder infection, which with the problems I'm having, that's not surprising. However, before I can have surgery, that needs to be treated. So therefore, I am once again on antibiotics. And the doctor who is treating me is new. At least new to me. So about oh an hour and a half 
after my initial call. The nurse called back to go over all my allergies and antibiotics and try and confirm what um, each one causes a problem with. And at this time, I had thought that my pharmacy already received the order. So my parents had gone to pick it up. Go straight on. But it wasn't there. And then turn right. What? I can't even get out of town. Because the doctor had said, or the nurse, that if I started on an antibiotic right. today, then I can have surgery on Thursday. So it was important that I get it today to get it started. Go straight on. And I won't delay any further. So after a few hours of going back and forth and seeing who could pick up medication, because my pharmacy was no longer doing deliveries, by the time I got it, it was home. Finally got picked up, and I'll start on tonight. So that's one unexpected item. But wait, there was more. So all year, go straight on. I have been doing a challenge on my personal Facebook page of posting a Bible verse that went with the day. So, January 1, I did Genesis 1 1 and John 1 1, and so on. And it's been kind of fun of looking at verses and seeing what fits and also um, learning different areas of what's in the Bible and I guess really telling how long some books are. such as a good chunk of the New Testament does not have more than six chapters. So that means that after June, I had to look harder to find verses, but it's still been fun. So this past Friday was October 6th, or 10-6, and I posted a verse in the morning and one in the afternoon from Mark. So Mark 10-6, and I'll let you look it up. Go straight on. But apparently the contents of what that verse says basically doesn't like. Or at least that's my guess. Because Saturday morning I went to post my morning verse for 10-7 and I was greeted with a notice that um, my account had been suspended. I wasn't given any reasoning why, but 
this I had an option to appeal the decision and then eventually get an answer that my account will be approved again or it'll be completely banned. I thought it said within 24 hours, but that was Saturday, and it's right now on Monday night. I still don't have an answer. Go straight on. So, that means for the last uh, three days now, I haven't had access to Facebook at all. Which, um, that's, I'm not trying. Hasn't really been a real bad thing, I guess. But it has made me definitely realize a few things. So I'm always one that says to be careful where you spend your time. And don't waste it and use whatever abilities you're given for the time you are. Which is all good. However, the last couple of days have made me kind of uh, realize how much I depend on social media. So Saturday especially, I had thoughts going through my head. Of, all right, well, what am I going to do for this or that? And I have several people on Facebook that it is my only communication with them. That someone has a spine cord injury or friends from out of state just keeping track of their health or what they're up to and that kind of thing. And also, um, I have the Quad Life channel or Facebook page that is linked from here. As well as one for my business site and a couple others that I help manage. So I've had thoughts going through my head of okay, how could I get access to them again? Could I need to make a new account or really what? or other avenues I can use. But in all that, I have seen how much I really use it and depend on it. Which, for some things, it's okay, as I said, to keep track of other friends and know what they're doing and be able to help or say pray for different situations that are coming up, but I'm also quick to go to it if I have say five minutes that I'll go to Facebook and just scroll through and randomly see what's going on. So Saturday was not being able to post my verses that I had for 10 months now. Definitely found odd getting out of the routine. But for those watching this on YouTube, which is more social media, I'll maybe encourage you to just take a look and see how much time you spend on it. And See if maybe you could uh, decrease it for other activities, which again, 
use our things for good, but also not to let it distract us too much. So I am hoping that I will be allowed access to my account again. I've talked with a couple friends that I've said they had similar things happen to them, and they did get it back eventually, but it could take a couple weeks even. So we'll see. And if you follow me on Facebook, then obviously right now that channel is completely uh, gone from what I've heard, and it'll hopefully come back. But if not, um, I'm also on MeWe and Twitter. I don't use either of these very often. Well, I don't use Facebook very often either for this. I know I've got it replying to anyone. But those are also areas that you can follow if you wish. And I at least post when I put new videos up. And I've been thinking about trying to get more content on it. However, it's uh, so far only been in my head to the guy for Let's see if it escapes. I'll go to Oklahoma City. Pretty soon here. And I'm trying to find a place to sleep. Take a look at that. Oh, there's one there. Ah, there we go. When I get down here, I plan to uh, take a nap. So therefore, it will hopefully be bright again. So part of social media that some people don't like, and I understand, is they don't like people um, being able to track them or have information available. And that's definitely a concern. For Facebook I know and others have had data breaches that information is put out to parties that you don't want to have it. And, and some people are just more private as well, which is good. So that's partially also why I started doing more Bible verses, that it's something I can still put out and be active, but not necessarily giving every detail enough to. But here in the U.S., I think a week ago or maybe two now, there was a test that everyone's cell phone received an alert for such as an emergency broadcast. So living here in Iowa, we get notifications of thunderstorms or tornadoes or that kind of thing. Um, 
imagine some in California get notices of like earthquakes or hurricanes in Florida or that kind of thing. However, everyone in the country received this. So my cell phone went off on its corner where it collects dust. And at the same time, I was watching a live broadcast of showing planes in LAX or Los Angeles International Airport. And as people were running it, you could hear their phones go off at the same time. Well, after a bit of a time delay. So I guess it's good that everyone can receive um, notices of problems or things going on. However, there are a lot of people that know they didn't follow it too. If you're getting an alert, that means the government or whoever is sending these alerts has everybody's number. And cell phones are easily tracked. That you can tell where a person is. Such as a friend of mine, um, oops, has an app on his phone that, if, he's, if he enables it, I can see where he's at. Kind of cool that uh, he's going to visit and tell where he's at. But, I don't know if it's in the right hands. Alright, let's see. Where have I taken that? It's like right here. If I get notice anyway. All right, it doesn't like that. Let's try over here. There we go. Hit the button, sleep, and good morning. Wouldn't it be nice if that worked in real life? It won't button and go to sleep. Also, I turn the brakes off. So, a lot of people, and being included, don't really like the Let's idea that if the government or anyone necessarily tries to track you for any means, it's as easy as looking up your cell phone number and seeing where you're at. As uh, let's say people are in control with good intentions, this isn't a problem, but in some societies, such as say.
Atari is trying to others is definitely a ton of concern. In fact, you want to be careful of where you go and what you're doing. As basically showed me, do something they don't like, and it can come back to have different consequences. However, using that word a lot in this podcast, or dry, whatever you want to call it, we need to remember that even though we may not like governments or people tracking or watching what we're doing, if they are or not. We need to remember that every move we do and even every thought Please move, people. Um, I chose the wrong way. Come back up. I agree. Beep, beep. Nope, come back up. Nope, there we are. So there is one that always keep tra keeps track of everything that we're doing, and that is God. We read in places such as Matthew 5 that if anyone books with lust, they have committed adultery in their heart. It's Matthew 5.27. And a few verses ahead of that, Matthew 5 22, says that if anyone harbors hate toward someone, that this is equivalent to murder. So both of these items are even our thought life. So, currently at least, no human institution can monitor our thoughts. That's still on our own heads. But we need to remember that what we do here will be put under judgment upon our death or a judgment day. So that every evil thought or, in, or intention of our hearts will be brought to judgment. And that for those that have not repented of sin and trusted in God alone for forgiveness will suffer eternal damnation in hell. But those that have come to God can look forward to the new heavens and new earth. That even though our very thoughts and our actions are evil, that Jesus' perfect life is seen for us. That he paid for our sins. So that's what uh, Go straight on. I've been reminded about lately with all these changes and what's been going on the last few days. That, yeah, I know people are watching what we do online here. And unfortunately, in the 
past few years, things have really changed in that you know, free speech, especially, is not always allowed. Like I said earlier, look at what time you're spending in social media and maybe try to um, divert some of that time to doing things like studying God's Word in the Bible. Because also, we see a lot today of deception. And that's what I decided I preached about a week ago. Turn right. This is where it is. Oh boy. I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but I'm going to try this extra. Parking here. All right, so I got back in around that dumpster. Now first, let's get turned around. Give it up yet. Alright, now I'm pointing in the right direction. And yes, I know I should do this from inside the cab, but I do it this way so everybody can see. At least that's my excuse. Close that fourth one, but looks like okay. The train just went through on that crossing. It's a busy track. A little bit too close. So, to move over a bit. Alright, let's try this again. There we go, that's better. No, we're not going to skip parking. Oh, so we got to take it, I wonder. Ooh, yes it did. There we go. All right. Well, that's another delivery. Oh, didn't realize I was late. Because I was talking too much. But still got money and good XP. Three and a half hours late. Wow. I guess it didn't like me sleeping. Well, that's it for this week. And I'll see you again in the next Trucking Life or Quad Life or whatever's next. So, bye for now.